In this video, I will show you how to install GameConfig for GTA 5. I'll be installing GameConfig for GTA 5 version 3179. GameConfig is needed to make the game work after adding new DLC. For example, after installing new cars in the GTA 5 game. If you don't install GameConfig, then your GTA 5 won't work, it won't load the story mode with mods. Therefore, in order for GTA 5 to work with mods, we need to install GameConfig. To install GameConfig for GTA 5 version 3179, you need to download it from the GTA 5 mods website. I'll leave a link to it in the description under the video. There will be many different versions available in the archive, so download this mod. We also need to download the OpenIV program, Pack File Limit Adjuster and HEP Adjuster. After that, we need to open the GTA 5 game folder, where we have the GTA 5 app icon. Open the Pack File Limit Adjuster archive and copy all the files except the text files to the GTA 5 game folder. Also, open the HEP Adjuster archive and copy all the files except the text files to the GTA 5 game folder. If you already have a mods folder created in the GTA 5 game folder, but the mods don't work, then, before installing the game config file, you need to open the mods folder, then open the update folder. And in this folder you need to delete the old version of the update.rpf archive. Because in the game folder this archive has been updated, but in the mods folder the old version remains. Next, we need to install the OpenIV program. To do this, run the OVA setup program and install it. We accept the terms of the program, there is no need to change the installation path. Just go ahead and install the OpenIV program. Launch the shortcut on the desktop, and select the version of Windows if we are using Windows. Next, you need to indicate the path to the GTA 5 game, and click continue several times until the program starts activating. Next, we turn on the edit mode button, because if it is disabled, then we will not be able to install the mod. Therefore, edit mode must be enabled during installation. After that, go to the tools section and go to ACI manager. Here we need to install everything, click on the install button, and after that, we can close this window. After that, open the update folder. Open the update.rpf archive and copy it to the mods folder. After copying, you need to open the common folder and the data folder. In this folder you need to copy the new version of the GameConfig file that we downloaded from the GTA 5 mods website. Open the GameConfig archive. If you have the Steam, Epic Games, or Rockstar Social Club version of GTA 5 and it is always updated, then the GameConfig for your version of GTA 5 is in this middle folder. The author of the mod always updates it when the game is updated, but if you have an old version of GTA 5, then look for GameConfig for your version of GTA 5 in the older version folder. My GTA 5 is updated to the new version 3179, so I will install GameConfig from this folder for 3179. I always choose stock traffic. To install GameConfig, you need to copy it to the OpenIV program to the data folder that we opened in the update.rpf archive. Edit mode must be enabled. After that, GameConfig is installed successfully. We can add new DLC mods, new cars and new real estate to the game. The game will start without errors. You can spawn new cars and play with other mods. I installed new graphics and some new add-on cars. The game works successfully with the mod. Cars or other DLC mods only need to be installed after updating the GameConfig mod, because without it they will not work. That's all. If this video helped you, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.